Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to this 100% walkthrough of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Today we are taking on Chapter 6 of Return of the Jedi, which is called Into the Death Star. So let's jump in and do it on story mode, shall we? Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. Chapter 6, Into the Death Star. With help from the Ewoks, the Rebels have finally managed to destroy the Death Star shield generator on Endor. In the sky above, the Rebel fleet has come under intense fire from Imperial craft and the Death Star itself. Many ships have been destroyed. But General Lando Calrissian is now able to lead the final assault on the Empire's ultimate weapon and pilot the Millennium Falcon deep into its heart. Well, its dark heart, it says there. <laughs> It's actually quite well lit up, so... The Emperor may be gone, but there's still the Death Star to destroy. And yes, it's another ship level. Here we go, the final assault. And off we go. So the first mini kit is right up here. So we want to get that. And there is going to be a lot of things to shoot and destroy. We're going to die an awful lot. And yeah, we're probably going to regret life. Um, the true Jedi requirement for this level is 35,000 studs again. There was mini kit number two just up here. So get that. That's the last mini kit we can get here. Now, uh, what we want to do next is shoot those big purple orbs up here with the missiles, like so. Now, there's no missile collection thing, so what you have to do is shoot some of the ships which are carrying missiles, like those ones. And we'll collect the missiles from them and shoot, like so. Now there's a couple of these that we've got to destroy in this first area of the level. Can we get it? There we go. Right, let's head over to the next one. Destroy this one. And destroy this one. But yeah, as I was saying, 35,000 studs is... I mean, it's, it's possible, but it's going to be unlikely on story mode, I think. Because we are going to die a lot in this level. And I mean a lot. Where is the other ship? Here it is. All the way over on the right. Okay, destroy that. And destroy this. I believe there's only three. I'm sure there's only three, in fact. So we'll destroy that up some missiles line up while we're in the process. Uh, I hope there's only three. Maybe there is more than three actually because we're not moving on. Let's have a look shall we? There are four! Well there you go. We'll destroy this one as well shall we? Right hopefully that's it now. So we'll pick up those studs. Yeah studs are pretty hard to come by in this level to be quite honest. And now we see the Admiral. I'm just going to whack the volume of the game down a little bit because I always forget how loud these ship levels are. With all the explosions and the shooting and stuff. And into the Death Star we go. Just like the level's name suggests. So in we go. We are going to run into a lot of TIE Fighters down here. Um, main goal of this area is to spam the crap out of everything you can. Because there are studs to collect if you destroy everything. Whether or not it's going to be enough for true Jedi, I'm very sceptical. I think we're going to have to come back on free play with the multiplier bricks. But we'll give it a good go at least. Because we actually need some studs to be able to get our score times 2 multiplier brick. So we'll give it a go. We'll destroy everything we can on the way in and on the way out. 
because we have to escape afterwards as well, just like in the movie. We're actually racking up a fair amount of studs, but you'll see we haven't died yet. When we do die, which we will, we will lose quite a lot of those studs, uh, probably 2,000 or so at a time. Anyway, there's a missile um, collection thing here, so we're going to collect three of these up. We're going to destroy these little turrets here, like so, and then we're going to shoot those three pipes, you can see. One, two, collect the studs, and three, if it loops around, yes, okay. Right, we'll collect more of these to head on. God, there's so many tyres. And our... Th right, okay, there we go. Wow, 4,000 studs. Really? Yeah, we're not going to be getting true Jedi, I don't think. To be fair, we got them all back. So you'll see the third mini kit spawned in there after we destroyed those pipes. So we're going to head on. And when we get to this area, this is going to open up. And you can see we've got four little targets we've got to shoot here with missiles. Um, I probably... No, I have got three missiles, have I? No, I've got two. I'm sure I picked up three. Maybe because we died. Anyway, we'll shoot those. We'll go up here and get the studs. I mean, I'll be absolutely amazed if I get true Jedi on this level. I don't think I've ever done it on story mode, if I remember correctly. But, you know... I'm not 100% on that. So we'll collect three missiles and we'll head back up here, get out of the way, TIE Fighters. Oh, we're close to dying. And we're dead again. Brilliant. Right, recollect the studs, recollect the missiles, and of course we've lost the missile, but never mind. Destroy that, and destroy that. Destroy it. Oh, really? how the game wants to play it clearly blew up right before it hit it so we'll come back for some more shall we I mean it's this little run here where there's just so many TIE fighters <coughs> right okay shoot bang direct hit nice through we go to the next area now when we come through here we are going to find another missile thing. We want to head this way into this dark area. Because there is a hidden mini kit here. Which is mini kit 4 of 10. We can get 8 mini kits by the way on this level. I didn't say that did I? <coughs> uh, we're dead again. Brilliant. I do think it's a bit harsh losing 4,000 studs every time you die. I'll be honest. And of course we can't pick that one up for some reason. So we're just going to blow everything up again down here our way down because there are studs to collect like so die 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 it's kind of annoying that on the ship levels you don't just absorb the studs right we get those we get these get these and on we no well yeah on we go I thought we crashed but we didn't we just sort of lagged a bit <coughs> and on we can go game thank you on we can go to this next bit where we're going to run into more of these things we've got to shoot slightly different ones this time uh, they actually shoot missiles as well. Which apparently have homing beacons on them, interestingly. Alright, here's another one. We'll shoot that. We're dead. We're dead. We got our stunts. Nice. Get these. So you can see, we're, we are about to head into the core. And we are nowhere near true Jedi. Let's head down here. Okay, now our goal in this one is that we need to first come over here, shoot this, 
for mini kit number five. <coughs> we'll destroy that. Uh, some of these ships are hopefully going to drop some missiles for us because we need to come over here and hit these. Like so, there are two of them to hit. Wow, I missed it, really. Alright, we'll go back for some more missiles, shall we? <coughs> so, we need to come all the way back. This is going to be annoying. It's kind of a shame they didn't put a missile collector thing in the core. Uh, I might try and die here. If I can. No, I can't. <laughs> The game's not going to give me any enemies. Probably not until I've got... Yep, there we go. Not until I've got the missiles. Of course. You know, why would it do it logically? Anyway. Three missiles, please. <coughs> and we'll head down... Oh, we're on one bar of health again. Oh, game, really? Come on, please. This is stupid. We will go and get more missiles. Yeah, this isn't the best designed thing, is it, really? Taking hits again. Oh, we're down to one heart. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Right. So we want to come over here. We want to take out these two purple things. Like so. Oh, okay, so close there. And in here is our power brick. So next thing we want to do is shoot all of these. So if you come near one of these while wow, we're dead again. <sighs> Lots of deaths, as I said. When you come near one of these, it will open up and then you just have to shoot it out. Like so. Once we've done all of this... That's going to take down the shield around the core. Uh, what? Sorry, what? what's going on there? That is very weird. Uh, is there another one? Have we powered, powered it down? We have. Right, we're going to shoot all the hell out of this now. To knock down the barriers. And then we're going to release a missile into there. Which is going to blow the crap out of the Death Star. And apparently the game's going to kill us for good measure and we won't be able to get those studs back either. Brilliant. So we want to get our way out of this place now before it explodes. Hug the right hand side if you can. Brilliant. Because there are three mini kits to collect on the way out. And they're all pretty much on the right hand side. Ugh right hand side of the screen as you look at it there's one it's a mini kit number six <coughs> yeah this is going well isn't it anyway next area so yeah keep hugging that right hand side of the screen if you can but blow everything up on the way out because there's a fair amount of studs to pick up it's not going to get us true Jedi but there's mini kit number seven And the next area. Again, keep blowing stuff up. Again, aim for the right hand side because there's a mini kit over here. I mean, if you do miss it, we're coming back on free play, so it's not the end of the world. But there it is, mini kit number eight. Uh, we actually got very close to True Jedi. Actually, if we'd kept those blue studs, which it robbed us of when we destroyed the core, we would have done it. But never mind. It's party time. Original music. Stop looking, Wicket. Look away, you perv. Episode 6 complete. Super story unlocked. We unlocked infinite torpedoes. 
Uh, which is quite useful, I suppose, when you're doing the ship levels. We are on 92% of True Jedi. We got close. We had all those studs on. Eight mini kits of the ten available. So only two to get in free play mode. And we got a level complete gold brick as well. So we will finish the story. And finish story mode all together for the playthrough or the walkthrough. Because we've done every single level on story mode. Which is pretty incredible really. And there's Anakin's ghost. One of the very best characters on the game, by the way. And now it's party time again. R2's jamming out there. There are the ghosts. We can actually buy all of the ghost characters and they're really good because they're invincible. They can't be killed. They're expensive though. And that is the end of episode 6 of Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga which means we will soon be moving on to do free play. To collect up everything that we missed or couldn't get on our story mode playthrough. And that's going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to getting all that because we're going to get a massive stat boost for all of it. But we're going to go to the shop now. Because we are going to buy the score times 2 multiplier brick. Which again on free play is going to give us a massive hand with getting true Jedi on all the levels that we missed it on. And weirdly enough we've actually got enough studs right on the last level of story mode. Which I don't think has ever happened before. Um, it's almost like I timed it, but I can promise you I didn't. So we're going to buy that. And we will... I'll show you how to equip it. I guess the force is with me on this playthrough because it's worked out absolutely perfectly to have that on for the free play run. So we'll come all the way down to here. This is how you turn it on. You can see the little times two over on the left side of the screen there. That means that we're now going to get two times the amount of studs for any studs we pick up. And we're up to 48.8% complete. So that is going to do it for this one, guys. In the next one, we will start our free play cleanup, which I cannot wait for. It's going to be really, really good. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.